Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you, well, wait, can you guess what I'm going to be making today? If you guessed a cat, then you're right. Let's get started. This project is great if you don't have a lot of clay. I'm going to be using granite color because it kind of looks like a cat's fur. Purple and black and a dotting tool. Let's get started. First, let's start with the body. You're going to start by rolling a ball. And then making the neck by making a teardrop. But make sure you don't flatten it out. Remember, you can always change the size, too. Now, let's make the little feet. I'm going to start by rolling out two small balls for the front legs. But you're basically going to be doing the same as you did to the body, except it should look something like this and be a lot thinner and smaller. Now make sure you have your body to measure how big you want it. My paws are a little too big. So what you do if it's too big is rip off the end and roll it out again. And I like to attach it on from the back. Now let's do the two little back legs. I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the front legs. Add on the little back paws so it kind of looks like he's laying on his back. We're going to make the tail and, like earlier, just do the same exact thing. So I'm going to flatten it out a bit so it looks something like this. Now let's make the head. Grab your clay, Ooh. and you're going to roll a ball, but make it kind of like an egg. Again, make sure you measure it with the body. Looks like a nice size to me. And now, let's do the eyes. Take your dotting tool and just imprint two dots. Take your clay, two very small balls, Let's try to put it in the eye. Take your dotting tool again and flatten it out. That way it actually stays in. Now, for the nose, what you do is just make a tiny little ball and roll it out of it. Now, let's make the little ears. All you're gonna do is roll out another ball, or two, and make a triangle.
find the perfect place to put it on. And there's our head. Then all you're gonna do is place it on the body. Now, the tricky, this will be the tricky part. And that's getting the head and body to stay together. So just turn it over, take your dotting tool or whatever tool you're using and just flatten it out a bit, smoothing it together slowly. Doesn't need to look perfect because this is the back side of it. Nobody's really gonna notice. Now, if you want to add a bit of more cuteness, let's make a little heart. Just take a ball of clay, roll it out a bit. Turn it so it kind of looks like a U and point the tips. Now, this can be kind of hard, especially because it's small and my clay is really soft. But remember, it doesn't need to be perfect. So take your cat, just put the heart right between his paws. Now it's time to bake him. It should say on your box or package how long to bake it for. For me, it's 270 degrees for 12 minutes. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed. And if you wanna know how to make these cute cat ears, the video will be right here, so go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye!